Hello and welcome to pmclounge.com. In this video, we are going over a topic known as collective commitment. Now, we talked about the five values of Scrum. One of the value was commitment. Within that topic itself, you will find a subtopic known as collective commitment. So I hope you understand where we are coming from. If you want to go over the five values of Scrum, I'll share a link. The second link in the description will be to that video. First link, as always, will be the article on this topic. So if you are into reading articles, if you want to read about collective commitment rather than watching this video, then you can check the first link in the description out. Second video will be second link will be a video on the five values of Scrum. Also, you must already be aware that this video and a whole lot of other videos that we have done are part of the agile stuff that you need to read, right? The agile courseware that you should be aware of, the agile reading and studying that you need to do for your PMP exam. So an entire playlist of all the videos that we have done for agile for your PMP, you can check that uh, out. The third link in the description will be that entire playlist. And the fourth uh, link is going to be a playlist of all the videos that are going to help you for your PMI ACP certification. Because this video, Collective Commitment in Scrum, is not just helpful for your PMP exam, the agile part of your PMP exam, of course, but it is also helpful for your PMI ACP certification as well. So I hope that's clear. Let's get into the video. A quick reminder, please hit the like button. That seems to be the only way YouTube is going to let you know every time we upload new content. All right, so let's talk about collective commitment. And I hope, like I said earlier, you remember the Scrum value known as commitment. Collective commitment is a part of that Scrum value itself. Now, what did commitment say? Commitment said people personally commit to achieving the goals of the Scrum team. So people, the team members, they are personally committing themselves that they are going to achieve the goals of the Scrum team. That was about commitment. Now, when we talk about collective commitment, there has to be a group of people uh, basically committing to the Scrum team's goals, right? Let's get down to further details of collective commitment. Now, a picture is worth a thousand words. So I thought I'll use a diagram to kind of explain what collective commitment really is. Now, this is you and this is your project. The success of your project, or rather I should say your success, is tied to the success of your project. That's what commitment is all about. You are personally committing yourself that you are going to meet the goals of the Scrum team and make this project successful because you believe your success is tied to the success of the project. I hope it's clear till now. Now what happens is a project is not just what you are working on. You might be working on one of these four modules of your project. But end of the day, your project is basically, a, let's say, a group of these four different modules. And you are only responsible for one of these modules. So you might be working on just this module while there are three other people who are part of your team, who are part of your scrum team, and they are responsible for the three different modules of your project. These four modules make up the project. Now, of course, these modules, all of them should succeed in order for all these people to feel, uh, you know, to feel successful because their success ultimately is also tied to the project. Now, what happens is all of a sudden, you come into a realization that while your success is tied to the success of the project, the project has three other modules as well. And that is the reason why you also feel responsible towards these three modules. You are not working on these three modules, but you feel responsible towards it. Because end of the day, these four modules make up the project, right? And for since your success is tied to the success of the project, you need to ensure that all four modules succeed. And that is exactly what these three different Scrum team members also think. That 
is collective commitment precisely now of course when everyone feels committed to all the modules of the project your project becomes successful and your team also becomes successful so this is what collective commitment is all about when you tie your success with the success of the project you realize that the project is made up of different modules and then you tie your success with the success of these modules as well and this is precisely what the team members also do so when the project succeeds everybody wins that is what collective commitment is all about now for those who want some text as well let's go over it once again each team member feels that his or her personal success is tied to the success of the project each team member also feels committed to each item in the sprint and not just the items that they are working on and that's what we talked about a project had four modules or you can say that you know the sprint had four items and every person in the team felt committed to the four all the four items not just the item that they were working on this is precisely collective commitment a quick reminder you can head over to youtube.com slash pmc lounge slash playlists all the topics required for you to study for your pmp exam are neatly arranged in playlists everything's free check it out And question for this video as a scrum master or an agile project manager how would you inculcate collective commitment in your scrum team now you understand the importance of uh, collective commitment tell us how you are going to inculcate this value definitely looking forward to your comments let me know so that's all that we had in this video i hope you got value out of it and were able to understand what collective commitment is all about subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified every time we upload new content and don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp and project management resource thank you